All right, we got a speaker here and we got the audience here. So I think that we can start the introduction first while waiting for for others. Yeah. So once again, hello Polkadot community. I'm Anna from Polkadot Insider, and welcome back to our AMA. And today I'm so happy to have honored space and the very fantastic project, which is Nova Sama Technologies, which primarily builds user-focused applications for Polkadot and Fusimaker systems. And there are two main familiar products that you may know, which are Nova Wallet and Nova Spectre. So let's have a deep dive into these remarkable wallets with me today. In the case you first know about us, we are um, the channel updating news, data analytics, real-time data, and project research to support retail investors' views when they want to invest in the Polkadot and Kismaker system. And going through with me today in the AMA is Mr. Limo, a very core team member from Nova Sama, who's going to share with us um, everything about these two wallets, what is so amazing about them, and the recent spotlights is on so what are some upcoming steps that we are supposed to follow up with Nova Sama. All right, let's get into it. So to kick off the atmosphere, Sir, can you introduce a little bit about yourself and also a quick overview of Nova Sama? It's about your perspective. Sure thing, and thank you very much for inviting me on this AMA. So I'm Limo, and I'm the Chief Nice Officer at Nova Sama Technologies. Um, so I'll talk a bit about how I got involved in crypto to begin with, or Polkadot ecosystem. So kind of, I got involved at the end of 2020 and was basically making some like video guides for the community uh, back when like the user experience uh, for Polkadot was kind of horrible with like Polkadot.js being pushed a lot. Uh, then kind of co-founded ChaosDAO and heavily involved in, in that community um, and did some bits for Robonomics, co-founded the GM Parachain and then Fortunately, I was uh, lucky enough to be offered a job at Nova Sama Technologies, which is such an amazing company to work for. Um, and yeah, Nova Sama Technologies, you know, we've been involved in the Polkadot ecosystem for like a very long time now. Um, and as you said, we make some amazing products like Nova Wallet, which I'm sure hopefully a lot of the listeners have already used. And now we're making Nova Spectre, which is a nice desktop app, which we'll go into a bit later. And yeah, our team, Nova Sama Technologies, uh, just basically consists of like a lot of developers and designers who really love uh, the Polkadot ecosystem and are just very passionate about making uh, the best possible products for everybody to use. Wow, that's a really lovely kickoff. Thank you, sir, a lot. All right, we are down to hear more. So for the next question, can you once again introduce a little bit more about your two main products? as our spotlight today and um, are there any differences or similarities between them? Yes, so uh, basically uh, Nova Wallet, which is the best mobile application for the Polkadot ecosystem, I'm sure a lot of people have already used. Um, it allows you to access uh, over 90 different networks in the Polkadot ecosystem, including like both relay chains, Polkadot and Kusama, uh, tons of parachains and solo chains, um, as well as uh, like Ethereum mainnet as well, with some more uh, EVM chains coming soon. And we support hundreds of assets. Um, and Nova Wallet pretty much gives you the full power of Web3 in the palm of your hand. Things like uh, XCM transfers, staking, governance, crowd loans, uh, NFTs, hardware wallets, and support for pretty much every DAP. Uh, which is using like the Polkadot.js um, protocol or the MetaMask protocol. So for example, on Astar network, you can use both the EVM side and the Substrate side, which is really awesome. And then kind of the new products that we've uh, recently uh, released is Nova Spectre. So Nova Spectre is kind of this <coughs> all-in-one Polkadot enterprise desktop wallet. Um, it's, right now it's currently available for download on Linux, Mac OS and Windows. It's fully open source. Um, it supports over 70 Polkadot networks. Uh, it has a lot of like super user friendly uh, features like uh, multi-sigs and multi-staking um, operation support. 
Um, it supports server uh, 55 networks with multi-sig, so it's one of the uh, kind of multi-sig products that supports the most networks. Um, we have multi-shard staking, uh, hardware wallet support, um, a lot of security features like light client integration and parity and data verification. Um, so, and the the end goal for Spectre is to kind of make it the desktop super app wallet for the Polkadot ecosystem. And hopefully we'll get there very soon. Oh, that's really, that's really interesting. Yeah, for sure. And we know a little bit more about Nova Wallet and especially Nova Spectre. So um, right now we want to kind of want to hear more. So with Nova Wallet, it's much well known with everybody already, but Nova Spectre is your new release. So uh, we're kind of curious that um, what are some core benefits there when engaging with Nova Spectre? What are some experiences that user can enjoy with Nova Spectre? Yes, yeah, sure. So like I said, it's it is the goal to uh, make Nova Spectre this all-in-one desktop wallet um, for not just enterprises, but like power users, which might be like validators and stuff and individuals alike, right? Um, I think we've demonstrated with the Nova Wallet product uh, that our team's pretty capable of making these really great user-focused applications and we'll do that with Spectre too. Um, so I mentioned before some of the features it already has, but right now we have this uh, Polkadot referendum, uh, referendum 125, uh, which is live right now uh, to request some money from the treasury. And this will add a ton more features um, such as dynamic derivations, which is basically when you're using Polkadot Vault hardware wallet, um, when you update it, you lose all your um, derived accounts, which is really awful user experience. Um, so Nova Spectre will basically make that a lot easier because the actual app itself will handle these derived paths and just make it easy to import it back into uh, Polkadot Vault. Uh, we'll add uh, Wallet Connect V2 support, which means you don't actually need Polkadot Vault to use Spectre. You could, for example, use Nova Wallet or any other wallet that supports Wallet Connect V2. Um, we'll also add support for proxy accounts. So pure proxies, any proxies, non-transfer proxies, stake in proxies, governance proxies. Um, which opens up a lot more um, possibilities of different account types that you can have. And then a lot of features that are not really mega nerd features like those ones, like cross chain transfers, uh, fiat value integration, uh, Ethereum address support, like some staking improvements. Um, so we, we because this application is focused around a lot of different types of users, um, we need to ha have a mix of like enterprise use cases, which is like, really kind of difficult to understand stuff for most people but also we need to make sure that we have uh features that like the everyday person like like myself wants to use right like the cross chain transfers and stuff like that um and then in the future we'll uh we will plan to add like uh, an in in app swap feature um a multi staking dashboard like we have at nova wallet already um a web hosted version so you don't need to download the actual uh, executable um, and we also will make it so that you can use Nova Spectre and these proxy accounts, maybe, or your multi-sig accounts. Um, you can connect it to any DAP, uh, which is going to be super cool for like power users or enterprises as well. Um, yeah, I hope I wasn't rambling, but I'm really excited about all the stuff we're doing uh, at Nova Spectre. Wow, there's a lot of great work and a lot of good purposes behind Nova Spectre and we can definitely expect a lot more about Nova Spectre in the future. Yeah, that's really exciting already. Yeah. So with your project concept, who are your target users and do you have any plans on educating old users on Nova Wallet about Nova Spectre? Yes, so far, um, Nova Wallet is basically anybody in the Polkadot ecosystem who wants to be able to use all this amazing technology and dApps and parachains and all that kind of stuff um, from the palm of their hand, right? Um, and especially mobile is so um, important, um, especially in developing countries um, and developing regions. It's something like 90% of people might have a mobile device, whereas only like 5% of people will have a desktop, right? So it's super important to focus on mobile. Um, in terms of um, how will we educate 
Nova Wallet uses the Vault Nova Spectre. Um, that's something where probably right now, a lot of the people that really love Nova Wallet, um, it might be difficult for them to use Nova Spectre, right? Um, right now, it's the feature set is very focused around uh, enterprises and power users, um, whereas for individuals, some of these nice features like cross-chain transfers um, are not in the current uh, build of, of Nova Spectre, uh, which is why we're hoping to get uh, further treasury funding to kind of make it a lot nicer for the average person, right? Um, so yeah, there'll, there'll be some crossover. Like I personally will use both, um, but a lot of people that will use Nova Wallet might not use Nova Spectre, and a lot of people that would use Nova Spectre might not use Nova Wallet. So the two kind of distinct, uh, distinct products. Yeah, I really understand your point, and yeah, that's very that's very interesting to get to know more about at the same time. Yeah, thank you so much. So. Uh, next thing we're gonna talk about is expansion. Yeah, we know that is always a very hot topic to listeners. So do you have any plans on expanding to other blockchain besides Polkadot and Kisma? And if yes, can you list some names? And if no, please tell us why as well. Um, yeah, so uh, we will always uh, have our main focus on the Polkadot ecosystem. Um, but for example, uh, some of our users at Nova Wallet, right, they're asking, hey, I really love Nova Wallet for Polkadot, uh, but I have like some ETH tokens or like USDT on Ethereum that I want to manage through uh, Nova Wallet, right? So that's why we added support for Ethereum uh, mainnet in Nova Wallet. Uh, we're also um, investigating um, being able to add other um, EVM chains, you know, like probably Polygon, uh, a Binance Smart Chain, those kind of things. Um, it's a little bit difficult dealing with like those um, like RPC providers. Um, so we're still in like the research phase there. Um, we're also thinking um, of a way, how do we make it so that maybe a, a user of Nova Wallet can add their own custom chain, right? Uh, like you can in MetaMask, for example, you can just add the, the chain spec and all that kind of stuff and add Binance Smart Chain or Polygon or Arbitrum or Optimism uh, to your MetaMask account, right? Uh, so we're looking into into that possibility as well, um, but we're very careful. We don't want that to take away from uh, like the the time we're spending making amazing features for the Polkadot ecosystem, right? Yeah, we understand that uh, Polkadot is still you guys' main focus, but a lot of um, some of the exciting names mentioned. Yeah, and and yeah, who knows? In the future, we can maybe can probably expect from some good news. Yeah, from you guys about this one. Yeah, we gotta definitely follow up. Yeah. So, talking about achievements a little bit. So, can you share some of the best achievements of your team in terms of products or or um, some more aspects so far, and which is the most memorable one to you? Yeah. Yeah, um, I would say, uh, at least like personally, um, having the community uh, behind us in such a, a massive way, like we have tons of support, um, like everybody seems to really enjoy our products, right? Like especially Nova Wallet. Um, like when we had our recent uh, referendum for Nova Wallet, um, I think it was referendum eight on Polkadot, we had so much support, right? Uh, it was massively positive to vote. And, you know, it makes uh, me and the rest of the people on the team uh, feel really, like, nice that people really like what we're doing. Um, so that's probably the thing that I'm, like, proud of or remember is just how uh, much people uh, really seem to like what we're doing. And then uh, from from the Nova Spectre side, I guess, um, we, we kind of recently did the uh, initial uh, release build of Nova Spectre, which is, you know, quite a big achievement for the team uh, working on Spectre have been you know, developing that for over a year now. So it was really nice um, to have them finally be able to uh, share what they've been building for over a year uh, to people in an open sourced manner. So pro probably those two things. Well, that's amazing already, sir. And we know that um, it's easier said than done. We know that a lot of great effort, yeah, have been making to help Nova Sama go this far and 
that's what we really appreciate and yeah and congratulations for all of that again yeah so talking about uh, the future a little bit you mentioned a little bit about that before but we kind of want to know more a little bit yeah so can you share with us some of your your next steps for Nova Sama to grow in the rest of 2023 or even more it's just a little bit about them it's okay yeah um i guess we've we kind of realized uh the best way for us to to grow and to get users is just to make products that have like the best possible user experience right um we, we've all probably seen or heard videos from people like the key sumerian uh where they go to an event and ask people about polka dot and they say oh i tried that in 2020 and i didn't know how to stake or do anything right um, so I think UX is super important and um, that's how we get users is if people come to this ecosystem and use something like Nova Wallet, um, it's super easy to do everything that you'd want to do, right? And that will keep people here and make us get more users, right? Um, we, we spend so much time uh, <laughs> at Nova Sama Technologies um, revising like user flows and making sure the uh, the interactions with our products and the different features are as nice as possible. Um, like the absolute worst thing is if somebody wants to use a product that could be Nova Wallet or it could be a, a DAP or like a Parachain's main DAP or something, and they don't know how to do the task that they want to do, right? Like if you're using a DEX and you can't see how to swap within the first five seconds, you're not going to use that DEX, right? And the same kind of logic applies to you to uh to everything um yeah that's pretty much <laughs> that's pretty much that oh that's that's worth expecting yeah um just keep it there we know that a lot more about that we can we can expect we can follow up but just keep it there and, and give a good news yeah we love surprise yeah so for the last question i think it's kind of relaxing yeah, if you think so. So if you have to say three words, it can be noun, it can be attractives, it can be sentences, if it is there for you to express your your pride in Nova Sama. So what would they be, sir? Okay, I will. Uh, so I guess the first one um, would be either like passion or enthusiasm. Um, like everybody on uh, in our team is like just super passionate and works incredibly hard um, making Nova Wallet and Nova Spectre right. Um, so that's, yeah, really nice uh, and <laughs> expresses my pride, definitely. Uh, the, the second one, probably um, family, I guess. Like everybody's like super close, uh, like super friendly with each other. Uh, when, we, when we get to see each other in real life, uh, events like Polkadot Decoded or Sub-Zero. Uh, it's always super, super nice um, to hang out uh, as it is with like everybody else in the community. Um, and then the last one, um, I I'd probably say it's more of a sentence. Like, I guess the, the future is bright for Polkadot. Um, I guess most people on this call uh, like strongly believe in the Polkadot ecosystem and the fact that it does have the best tech in the blockchain space, uh, you see things like uh, this Polygon Avail uh, relay chain, uh, which is like Polygon 2.0 kind of. Uh, it's built on Substrate. They don't really tell you that, but it's built on Substrate. Um, and it's so cool to, to be part of this uh, ecosystem with this amazing tech and being able to build amazing products for everybody. Um, like in the current market conditions, I guess, uh, everybody turns into a critic, right? Everybody's super uh, critical and footing and stuff. Um, but this is definitely the time to just get work done and, and build these amazing products. Uh, so if and when people come back, they can use products that are not really horrible and maybe they'll stay around, right? Um, yes, I'd say those are probably the three things <laughs> that, that express my pride, I guess. No, oh, that's really lovely. Yeah, indeed. We love it. And it kind of tells us again, what is the vision? What is the main focus of Nova Sama? And yeah, that's all very fantastic. Yeah. So I, yeah, I guess it's all about the questions today. 
we have been through a lot of good information about um, Nova Wallet and Nova Spectre at the same time. And also, um, what are some what are some upcoming steps that we are supposed to catch up with Nova Semi in yeah in the upcoming time? So that's all very exciting already. Yeah. So before we say goodbye, so sir, do you have any any words left or announcement left for listeners today before we say goodbye? Um, just thank you very much for uh, everyone for being here. Uh, it's super nice to talk to Polkadot Insider. I really love what you guys are doing. Uh, giving a lot of like great information to the community. Um, it's super awesome, and, and please keep doing what you guys are doing as well. Yeah, I'm very thankful for for you, Mr. Limo, and also Nova Sama for giving us a chance to be your bridge to the community today, and we really appreciate that. And also the audience. Oh my God, you guys always my love and really appreciate your time. And I hope that you just had a very relaxing time and helpful time with us. So if you have any questions, you can DM Pogodan Satter and we're gonna have the questions connected to the speaker and we're gonna get back the answer to you as soon as possible. Yeah, and also we have a recording. If you want to play it again, do not hesitate to do it. Is always on our Twitter page. Yeah, and I think it is all about today. Thank you so much, everyone, again, and goodbye. See you all again in our next AMA. Have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah, thank you so much, and goodbye, sir. <laughs>